21 Excel tips for accountants, especially the beginning ones. Excel, if you're doing any serious accounting work, you're likely going to be spending a lot of time in this beautiful program they call Excel. So I'm going to run through this pretty fast. You can obviously replay, slow it down, speed it up, whatever. Excel, when you get to it, looks like this. And it's like, what is this thing? What do you do? Maybe you know how to be like 100 and 100. And you want to you wanna somehow add them up or do something. It's all foreign. So maybe you figure out you can push equals this plus this. And then it returns a value. So by the way, that is uh, shift and arrow another good one so maybe you know it all but this will be some good stuff expand column first of all expand column or row right so coming into here you can just click right also you can double click. S double click um, the row or column. So if I'm here and I double click, boom, expands automatically. It can be very convenient. Duplicate tab. If you want to copy this, right click on here, move or copy. You can move this to another sheet or you can just create a copy. So now you have two, so we can blow this up, doesn't matter. Now once you delete these, I think that's not undoable, so be careful. So, summing numbers up. I'm gonna assume that this is very basic so you have an idea of, of how things work in Excel. So here's a bunch of data. Very unsophisticated way to be, if I want to know the total, equals this plus this plus this plus this, right? Um, so another thing is double click, we'll go over. You can see I summed it up. Now I'm going to copy this data and paste it. Delete this. And I can also drag. Yeah, and you can drag numbers from other, okay, from other sources too. Now, sum. Sum, you go equals, S-U-M, parentheses, highlight this stuff, and come here. This is G7, G7 colon to G10. So G7 to G10. You can drag these things around too. So that would be a different sum. It's going to sum up what's in here. Maybe I want to sum all of it up. You can also do multiplication that equals this times this. All right. Just know, like big, big numbers, if you can't see, then expand the column. We want to be making millions and millions, right? So let's probably one, so we can fit a million in there. But what if we go one million times this? The column automatically expanded, but now, and this is a short form scientific way to represent numbers, but if you get that number, so expand the column, if you see something like this. These are all like pretty basic, but boy, when I started, I didn't know. Double click, expand. Oof, these numbers look terrible. We are going to fix that.
with formatting numbers. So we have this alt equals, really convenient. You can also drag around these like we discussed. The format numbers, you select stuff. This is huge too. You can select a lot or whatever. Come up here, comma. Oh, so much nicer. And let's unround them. You can also use a manual uh, rounding function, but check this out. This is 125 cents, and you don't want to see those pennies anymore. Just bring it in. If this is dot 75, bring it in. It's going to round for you. So there is there's like an equals rounding, rounding up, rounding down type of function, but I don't use that because I just use this.